Welcome back, or if you're just tuning in, take a look at some of the other videos I've done. But today we're going to uh, replace the points and condenser on this Ford 2600 tractor. First step, we got to get the cap off. We just take our screwdriver and pop the clips. This one back in here, I guess, depending on how your distributor is positioned is uh, kind of a it's kind of hard to get to it's easier to get it off than it is to get it on and then um, you may have to do some plug wires I had already had the coil wire off but um, if you take wires off just remember where they where they went and now's a good time to take a look at your cap and rotor and all that uh, this one's in decent shape it's got a little bit of corrosion on it, but it's it's not too bad. I'm just going to kind of tuck it in out of the way. I don't want to... Uh, well, how about we do this? There's a 1 on the cap, so I'm going to take and just mark a... That's going to be our number 1. The one has got the big scratch on it. So what that take that off and then this one we're gonna tuck it down and we know that that one was around here somewhere <laughs> this one was way here in the back so and I could trace these down and get the firing order if I wanted to or needed to that's not a problem so I'm just gonna tuck this stuff out of the way and mainly just doing that for camera work. All right, so pull your uh, rotor button off, and then you're going to need to get this uh, little cover off. It's kind of got a little rubber seal on it, so it kind of sticks. You've got a little O-ring or something on it here. And we're in. All right. So if you're not familiar with a points and condenser uh, distributor, uh, here's your set of points. And what they do is there's these, uh, or on this uh, engine, there's three cylinders. So you have three lobes on this shaft. And as the shaft turns, it opens and closes the points to make each cylinder fire. And uh, in a nutshell, that's how points work. So uh, we've got two screws holding on the points. Uh, we'll have a little nut here to undo for the uh, wire connecting the points. And we've got one screw holding the uh, condenser. And it looks like the condenser just snaps in. So we may, yeah, we can sneak it out without even undoing that screw. Now, well, this is junk. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have to undo that screw. Uh, let's make sure our new condenser came with a bracket, and it did, and it's actually made onto it, like spot welded to it, so we would have had to undo that anyway. Uh, the, this is the kit I bought. This is from Tractor Supply. It is a uh, part number 0236415, which crosses to an ATK6FXR. And this is good for Ford tractors 2600, 3600, 4100, 4600, 5500, 6600, and that's 1965 and up. And this is a 1980 or 1981. And it came with a new rotor button, which we will use. Our old one looked fine, but uh, we'll go ahead and use the new one. Uh, may not. The reason I say that is it doesn't have near as much spring. It's very weak, too. We're going to use our old one. There's nothing wrong with our old one. It looks perfect. And when I opened the package, of course, something fell out. 
and that is our little feeler gauge. Comes with the 25 thousandths feeler gauge. So we will use that to set our points. That's handy. I don't have to look up the specs or go find a feeler gauge. It's got one with it. And here's our new ones. So quality wise, they look alright. I mean, uh, we really didn't have an issue with the points themselves. Uh, if you follow along in these videos, uh, almost positive the condenser is bad. So that is our issue on this tractor, not so much the points. Had to clean the points. They were didn't work to begin with, then they were intermittent, and then once I cleaned them a second time, uh, they were working just fine. So let's go ahead and take these out. Two screws. Let me see if I can get y'all in a little bit better. Alright, I'm gonna have to see if I can work with y'all here, but uh, we're gonna try. I'm gonna have to block y'all to break this loose, sorry. And I'm probably gonna have to go get a shorter screwdriver. Now, also got a, I call these points a point screwdriver, but it really is just a screwdriver designed to hold a screw. The way it works is you slip your screw in there and then push this shaft up and what it does, if you watch, as that comes together, it gets farther apart and so it holds the screw. So if I slip this one in here and slide that down, what that will do, come on. and what other screwdriver will hold on that well? Now they make some different style things. They make some that are kind of like spring loaded. I really like this style. Um, it just works really well. And it looks like we got lucky enough. We might have to turn the engine just a little bit, but it's it's uh, it's almost right where we need it to adjust the points. Now, like I said, this is this is not ideal position to be. I'm probably have to go get a different screwdriver. Not ideal. This distributor is just kind of kind of hard to get to, and this thing's not one to not one to grab onto it because it. There we go. It's a great tool to have. Now. This one's going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get a stubby screwdriver for that one. Okay. I'm going to have to probably have to block y'all's view for a second. Man. What he over torqued that thing. do this one by hand because there's no way I can get that other screwdriver in here. Okay. Got that out. And part of our issue with our condenser may have been that this thing was not grounding well. Um, I don't know. You know, the, the thing should be grounded, and that clip definitely was really weak. I, mean, I think it would have grounded, but I don't know. May not have. And we've got to undo that screw. Oh, didn't bring a little wrench, but I do have my Nipex.
And these, like I said, these points, they were a little crusty when I first started working on this tractor. But, after I cleaned them up, they were working. You can see, you know, they've got a decent surface to them. And they've, they've got some life left in them. I mean, we're, these are going to go on the shelf. But, while we're in here, and we got a new set, we're going to put them in. It just, we're replacing the condenser, we're going to replace the points too. Um, I like to go ahead and assemble everything first. Um, now, one thing to note, if, if you've got a tractor that's been sitting for a long time or anything, uh, it may be a good idea. Just check this, uh, the surface right here on the shaft that the cam or the points ride on. Make sure there's no surface rust or anything on it. Uh, and if so, you're going to want to clean that up. Uh, it will wear the points down. This right here rides on that, uh, on those lobes. And that's what opens and closes the points. And so if you've got a rough surface, it's just going to tear this thing up. Uh, and you want to put just a little dab of grease on the shaft. Uh, this one's got a little bit on it, but I'll uh, go grab just a little bit and we'll put some on it. Just to... You don't want a lot because you don't want it slinging off and you know getting between the points or something and causing issues. Just a, just a dab. A little dab will do you. Just a little dab of grease. And we're just going to... Smear that around. Perfect. Okay, so like I said, I like to assemble everything first. So we're going to go ahead and it's just easier to get in here. Uh, it, I mean, if you were trying to put that wire on with the points in there, um, you just don't have much room to work. So, we're going to go ahead and attach all the wires to the points before we put them in there. Now we look at the orientation of how the wires are going to want to go. And that's going to be, you know, the condenser wire is going to come up from the top. So, we can put it about like that. And they, they're both slotted, so... We can slip that one in. Sorry, y'all aren't. Got y'all zoomed in. And then, we can just kind of lay these over here and make it better to view. And then, slide this one in from the side. So, I'm gonna take y'all not so close. because I'm gonna come over here and work and I don't know if y'all would be able to see there so this is the orientation we're going for just like that tighten this down don't go crazy tightening that down just snug it up yeah I know way too big a, a tool but as long as you don't over torque it, it works just fine. Don't forget your little ground strap here. I will uh, zoom y'all back in a little bit. Yeah, don't forget your little ground strap that'll go on top of the points. And then we're going to work our condenser around over here. And I will go ahead and bolt it down grab the screw for it. No reason not to. Two screws. Where's my third screw? Three screws. All 
ready to go back in. And so, I, like I said, I can't use my tool, this one in the back, so just be careful. Uh, this, there's not much where, or not many places screws can go on this distributor, but <laughs> some of them are more open, and you can lose a screw down in the distributor, and that's going to be a bad day. So, we're going to, it's got a little tab, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a hole, yeah, you can see it. I'm just going to have to be able to point to it. So, there's a little bump on the distributor plate here, and you see that hole right there? That bump lines up with that hole. And that's just to help keep it from swiveling. Perfect. Little screws, so don't get too carried away with, you know, over torquing them. Now, we're just going to start these screws and we're not going to torque them down or anything because we have to adjust the points. So they are just going to be snugged up just a little bit and then we will do our adjustment and then tighten them down. So I'm going to try to use my tool here. I don't know if it's going to work. held on long enough to get it started so that's cool another screwdriver disappeared somewhere I don't know where it went like I said we're just gonna And let's get our other screw. So what we do, put it in there, slide the little collar down, and it's gonna tighten the screw up. So it's got a good hold on it, so that allows me to like grab that, come around here. Uh, just a really nice tool to have for points. Pull our ground strap out of the way because make sure it doesn't, you know, as we're tightening it down, we don't want it to get caught or get or start. Um, as we tighten it down, we don't want it to spin around against the shaft there. So, right now, our points are sitting there with no uh, you know, there, there's a huge gap basically now. I'm going to see if I can grab the fan and rotate the engine just a little bit. That, Yeah, there we go. That's right where we want it. So you're going to want to position it right in the center of one of the lobes. So we've got three lobes, doesn't matter which one, just get it mostly in the center. Um, I mean, you don't have to, it's not like you have to measure it to get it in the center, but just get it as close as you can. Now, we'll tuck these wires and stuff in uh, in a minute. Now, we're going to use our screwdriver to kind of help push the points up against the shaft there. And what we're going for is that when they are, the gap tighten it down just a hair. You want to just a little bit of drag on the screws so that they, it kind of stays. You can still pry it away. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little gap there. And what you're setting is the gap between the contacts of the points. So we've got our 25 thousandths feeler gauge and it's actually opened a little too much so we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna push it just a hair closed 
and it's still just a hair. It may have been too much. Yeah, went too much that time. It's too tight. Open it up just a hair. And we're we'll slide this in there. Too loose. You want it to just oh, I think I did it too much again. I got carried away that time. Probably should probably what we should do is snug these down a little bit more. And make it a little harder to adjust. Alright. Slide this in there. And we want to move it just a hair. There we go. There's where we want it. Just kidding. The perfectionist in me. You don't have to get this precise with it. There we go. That's where I'm going to leave it. I mean, it's just barely dragging. So what we're going to do, I'm going to lock this side down first. And there's that ground strap trying to turn. That's going to help. That side's less likely to pivot or to, uh, you know, move the points when tightening it down. So once we lock that one down, that'll help hold this other one. And then we're going to check it. And it's a little bit tight. So we're going to try to make it a little bit of an adjustment. And I think I just moved it way too much. It opened up a lot. And on it and we're going to come in here I don't know where my other screwdriver went and come in here so we can get a little bit straighter that should be good and we're going to do a double check on our points Just eyeballing it, they look like they're still right. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to check our wires, make sure this one's out of the way, uh, our ground straps out of the way, and then we're going to have to just kind of put just a little bit of a little there. Uh, no, I don't like that. I like that. I think that's out of the way and that should do well. All right, so I'm going to quickly put all this back together. I'll zoom you all out. You don't have to be so close. A little close for comfort there. A little bit of carbon on the end of the old rotor button. I always just call it a rotor, but I know a lot of people call it. Well, I guess the rotor the rotor button actually is in the distributor cap. I'll show you that. That's actually the rotor button. 
So I'm going to take, I'm just take my screwdriver and just clean off the carbon a little bit on this cap. We're just trying to get this thing running. Once we get it running, probably going to do a full tune-up on it. Plugs, wires, cap. Yeah, it's got a good bit of carbon on it. All right, so we're gonna put our, uh, let's see, number one was down here. This will be easier to put on, although I can't put past experience with this thing. It tells me I can't put this plug wire on with the cap on. So uh, that one is this one right here. Okay, now number one is right here. Let's find the one we marked up. It should be this one right over here. Yep. And we're going to have to get this thing around. These plug wires are hard as a rock. I feel like cables. <laughs> this one goes here. And pull wire here. Well, the boot pulled off. I'm going to have to fix this, but that's it. Uh, pretty simple process. You know, definitely a maintenance item on these tractors, unless you've converted it to electronic ignition. Uh, you know, at least, you know, adjust them, check that gap periodically, because uh, it will affect the way they run. That gap gets too close and I mean it eventually it'll get to where they won't run at all. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more. And stay tuned, there's a lot of work to be done on this tractor. And uh, if you enjoy these kind of videos. Again, thanks. So we can test our points. I didn't show this, I should have. Uh, so I took the cap back off so I could show y'all. Um, you're going to want to rotate your engine over until it's not on the the high lobe, you know, basically to where the points are closed. And put your uh, one end of your test light on positive, and then your tip is going to be your negative side. So we can see, you can touch anywhere on these points, and they're working. Now what you can do is take your uh, test, well, you can't see anything. All right, so you can see our the points, the tip come on the side of the springy side of it and just use your uh, test light to open and close the points. Boom. Done. You could also bump it over. I'm only one person. I can't reach over and hit the starter. But you can uh, you could touch here. Well, somewhere. I lost my test light. Um, there. You could uh, bump the engine over, check it at the coil, and you should have a, uh, you know, light should light up as the engine's turning over. So, thought I'd throw that in there real quick. Now I've shown you everything else, we might as well show you this. Go to the negative side of your coil, 
and we're going to crank the engine over and the light should, right now the points are closed, so the lights, the light should blink. That's our points opening and closing. Now I'm going to put it back together. <laughs> 